What's up guys, Dr. GTA, and today we're going to be showing you how to make the Dom's RX-7 from Fast and the Furious 1. This car is really cool and I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, make sure to watch my other videos where we do some of the missions for the Los Santos tuners. And let's go ahead and get into this thing. So first off, you're going to need to buy the ZR350. Uh, it's, I think, 1.5 or 1.6 million on the San Andreas uh, or the luxury uh, branded cars option page and then what you're going to do is go into your garage or go to any tuner shop and you can do it into the Los Santos meets as well and you're going to uh, add all these customizations here um, the one that I would say is the most difficult to get is this winning is winning livery it says you have to be level 129 as you can see I'm not but just to show you that's the that's the livery you're going to need for this thing um, as far as it goes uh, once you get the livery um, we'll go through all these things real quick uh, you don't want no lovers louvers um, you're gonna want stock mirrors you're gonna want stock plate which you could actually do a custom plate with the iPhone or the app and just do the app and make the custom plate like the real one like for Paul or something for um, your uh, car if you want it accurately accurate from the movie uh, then you can go to the primary color and you want to do a metallic Torino red and the secondary colored metallic Torino red you're gonna do trim color black steel you're gonna do diamond blue on the uh, the gauges lights because those are what they were in the movie no crew emblem the roof is stock the skirts are going to be extended skirts because it's going to add that appeal to what the body kit really looked like in the Fast and Furious splitter you're going to do stock splitter spoiler you're going to do carbon street spoiler uh, it's slightly taller than the one in the movie but it, it works sunstrip I would do black Fukar Fukuru sunstrip uh, suspension competition all the way lights are already blacked out there's no need to change them transmission fully upgraded turbo of course um, the wheels you're gonna do a wheel type in SUV and you're gonna do s chrome wheels and sunrise that's the most accurate one um, <clears throat> let's go to wheel color tires tire enhancement standard everything else standard there windows are gonna be limo um, bumpers gonna be painted cutout you're gonna do rear bumper stock you're gonna do engine block and all that if you want to it's not really necessary because he doesn't show off any of this um, although the intercooler is the one with the water sprayer it's just very dark in the movie and you can't see because it, it has the intercooler tubes running from the front um, exhaust you're gonna do the titanium tipped exhaust although the one in the movie has only one not two but this is the most accurate exhaust fenders uh, you're gonna do stock front fenders don't change those at all and then you're going to do um, <clears throat> primary rear fenders and that will kind of flush out that offset with the fender body kit headlights stock headlights hood you're gonna do hood catches none hood you're gonna do ribbed hood alternate which pushes out a little bit gives it an accented aggression which is like in the movie uh, interior stock dash uh, dials are going to be a pod mounted tachom tachometer right there uh, doors stock doors because they didn't upgrade those in those movies seats stock seats although they were sparkos and they probably would be like this but there's no um, interior that's accurate because you can't change the color of the interior unless you can do it in Benny's or something I haven't tried it in Benny's but it, it's it should be tan the interior steering wheel is going to be a formula clubman or you can go with a apex clubman to be more accurate uh, no roll cage and then lights are Xeons and they're gonna actually be a lenses they're not gonna be pop-ups so that's the only thing that's messed up is the car actually has uh, lenses and they're not pop-ups in the real one uh, the neon layout is gonna be front back sides neon colors red um, and then from there the livery which you've already got and that's pretty much completes the build of the Fast and the Furious Dom's Charger Dom's chart Dom's RX-7 from the first one I'm super tired um, but yeah, leave a like if this uh, if you like this video and, it's a, and then you liked it and it helps you make the video. Um, and let me know in the comments if you actually get to level 129 because it's pretty crazy to get up there. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.